It's cause man, them ends something serious, man. I've been learning a lot about my hair and them ends. They don't even play no games, so. What's up y'all? This your girl Gold Mile. So I am back. This is the very next day, next morning. Um after that last video that I posted, after I greased my scalp. So this is what my hair looking like after it's good and greased and it done soaked up the S-Curl spray, which is in this bottle right here. Y'all know what S-Curl spray is. For those of y'all who don't, this is S-Curl spray. I buy it by the liter from Sally's. And whenever I see it at Sally's, I probably try to get at least two of them because they sell out here. They don't they don't really have all, like a whole bunch of the liters in stock, but you can order them offline at Sally.com, SallyBeauty.com or whatever. Anyways, as you can see, my moisturizer has soaked up the S-Curl spray and the grease, you know, good enough. Well, you can really, like, look in there and see where my new growth at. You see that new growth? It's like a little, a little afro, a little afro in there. So, that's what my hair looking like. Now, and being as though that I just got up and I just took my bonnet off, I am going to go in with some more grease because today is the day okay got the grease today is the day that i'm going to do my relaxer so i'm just going to go in and get this a lot and go around my hairline because that bun had been sitting on my you know what i'm saying my hairline all night you don't want to just go straight from a bun to putting a relaxer in that area because it can um Cause it to sting and burn. Okay, if y'all know anything about the relaxer, um, that's what it can do. So I'm just gonna go in, rub that, massage that grease in a little bit, and um, get behind my ears and things. This is what I do the day of. Okay, all that behind my ears and on my ears. <laughs> I turn into a whole grease monkey, y'all, whatever, and and go all around my hairline. Okay. All that done, just in case I scratched a little bit. And I do this all the way around, y'all. And by the way, I am 20 weeks post. If y'all didn't catch my last video, I'm 20 weeks post, child. I didn't know I was that far post, but I'm 20 weeks post relaxer. It's been 20 weeks since I had my last relaxer. Okay. And I do my neck, too. When I wash my hair... When I wash my hair, all of this grease is coming out because I use creamy aloe. Um, I use the ORS creamy aloe shampoo and it does wonders with taking out grease. It's it's a um it is a sulfate free shampoo and it also is a hair neutralizer. So it does it works wonders for both when you using when you applying your relaxer, taking a neutralizer out. After I use a neutralizer that's in the pack. But anyway, that's what I do for that. And then I go back down the middle of my hair. I mean, you know, that, that crisscross, the middle and the, the one that go across. I just grease back down there again. And that's it. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and, like, I'm going to let this, like, chill for a minute and... You know, penetrate into my hair and stuff, my skin, and then I'm gonna go edit a video. The last video that I, you know, made, I'm gonna edit a video and and do something around the house for about an hour or two, and then I'm gonna start my relaxer process. Okay, and I'm also gonna put a little bit more the rest of the grease that's on these gloves. I'm gonna put it on my ends. That is the reason why I put my, you know, make sure my ends grease is to make sure that they don't get over processed. Just in case, sometimes when you be slapping that relaxer on and you have be falling forward and backwards and stuff, um, it could get like relax relaxer on like the ends of your hair real easy. So in order to prevent it from over processing, uh, this is for protection. Too, so it will get them ends because man them ends something serious man i've been learning a lot about my hair and them ends 
They don't even play no games. So. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I don't know why I wait, but hey, girl. Hey, boy. How y'all doing out there? Okay, y'all. So, first thing first, I want to apply my relaxer to the most resistant area of my head. And as far as my hair is concerned, my coarsest hair is in the front of my head. Those front two sections are my coarsest hair. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the comb, my wide tooth. Hercules comb y'all and I'm gonna comb through my hair the reason why I did that is because when I um, Separate my sections. I will be you know parting it through not you know not the other method that I've tried before but yeah I, mm -mm. I tried that um You know the, the method that when you twist in each little sections when you're doing your hair alone I couldn't do that child. I did it one time and my back had anxiety attack tried to uh untwist them things when it was time to wash my hair mm -mm, baby that ain't for me that ain't for me okay so anyway as you guys can see i am applying and relaxing to that whole section on the outside and then i'm going to just go through and apply my relaxer to both sides of the hair um at the new growth Okay, y'all so my next video after this video is going to be on how i apply my color to my hair and first things first i never ever apply permanent color on my hair because it is relaxed i only use semi permanent hair dye on my hair so stay tuned to my channel and make sure you watch the next video after this video because that's where you're gonna see how i apply color to my hair So the kind of relaxer that I'm using is Optimum, Optimum, and I only use regular strength. I don't use super, I don't use extra, super duper, none of that. I only use the regular strength Optimum relaxer in them. I think, I think the box like a burgundy brownish color, and I get it from Walmart and or Sally's. And I've been using this brand, the Optimum brand, for like the last five years. And I have not switched brands in five years. Prior to that, I was using Dark and Lovely. Um, but I switched to Optimum. They are both made by Soft Sheen Carson. So I guess you get similar results. But I like the Optimum better than Dark and Lovely. Okay, y'all. As you can see, that I am getting a little bit of a relax on my scalp in some of these parts. Um, but I got enough grease on my hair to fry chicken child. Y'all seen that already, okay? So, but try your best not to get the relaxer on your scalp, especially if you burn easy. But I have no problems with burning at all because I let my scalp marinate with grease and all of that stuff there the day before and then apply mold and all of that stuff, so... And as y'all can see, I did not um, put relaxer on the front edges of my hair. Um, the edges are always last, baby girl, okay? The edges are always last. So now I'm just going to go back after I've done all of the sections, and I'm going to do my edges. And that's going to be from my front edges to my back edges and all of that stuff there, okay? Oh, I'm not making no faces because my braces hurt, y'all. Don't, don't mind me, child. These rubber bands is kicking my tail, but... Now why I just let that relaxer down my neck like that, y'all? 
I put, I'm relaxing my whole neck, but y'all remember when I put that grease on, I, I slathered it on the back of my neck just in case, because I have done this before. You learn from experience. That's why I put that grease down the back of my neck, because sometimes when you're doing your own relaxer, you cannot see, like, the back of your head and the back of your neck and stuff. So, you apply the grease for extra protection just in case you do what I just did, okay? And if you wear glasses, honey child, don't forget to get the relaxer underneath there. Y'all remember I greased it real good, so we A-okay in that department. Um, get that relaxer behind them ears, y'all, okay? I'll follow my glasses wheels out there. Because we will neglect that section in a minute. So now I'm going to smooth out my relaxer with my hands first all around my edges and then I'm just going to smooth all the way through, you know, get little sections and get the comb and I'm the, not the comb, but you know, the little relaxer brush and I'm just going to brush down again like I'm applying the relaxer, but I'm not. I'm just smoothing it down with the comb, brush thing, whatever this thing called. And I'm going to do that throughout my whole entire head, okay? Now, when I was text laxed, I did not do this part, okay? I skipped this part. I just let the relaxer sit on, and I did not smooth it through, okay? So that gave me a whole lot of texture um, left in my hair, and I washed it out sooner than I would. I just put it on real quick, let it sit, and took it out. But I, listen, that became too much my... The line of demarcation, the new growth versus relaxed hair was just too much, you know, too way too much. So I enjoy being like fully relaxed way better than I did being text lax. So this is what it looks like when my relaxer process is complete as far as putting the relaxer in. And this is a full 360 of what my hair looks like after the relaxer is all the way in and ready to be washed out. So y'all stay tuned to the next video when I color my hair. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye.